Ms. Olinoff, a question for Mr. Callahan. Congressman Denton has called you a liar who has betrayed Bethlehem taxpayers. Well, you say he has no concern for the middle class and has turned his back on our injured soldiers. What do these negative portrayals add to this race? Look, I'm proud of my record as mayor. I think uh, my record is very clear, whether it's on job creation uh, and driving $2 billion of economic investment in the time that I've been mayor that's resulted in more than 5,000 new jobs in the city, and whether it's reducing $60 million of debt in the time that I've been mayor, uh, balancing budgets and cutting government waste. That's my record. I'm proud of it. We are in a, we're in a campaign. We're, we're going to compare each other's records. I think the question that, that, that everybody has to ask themselves is, is do we want to go back to the failed economic policies that got us here in the first place? Charlie Dent has been a member of Congress for six years. Uh, he's been a part of the problem. He's why we're in the mess that we're in. So we've got to have this. I'll talk about my record, and I think it's high time that Charlie Dent uh, talk about his record and defend his record. Because uh, I hear him talk about Washington as if he hasn't been here for the been there for the last six years. So I think it's fair to make those comparisons, uh, and I think ultimately November second, uh, people will have the opportunity to make their choice. Mr. Dent. Sure. Well, when it comes to accountability, uh, John Callahan takes no accountability for anything that goes on in Bethlehem. An eight and a half million dollar deficit. An administration that doesn't pay its bills. Budgets that are patchworks of one-time revenues that pay for uh, to pay for recurring expenditures. Money's moved illegally. These are the findings of their independent auditors, and he won't even admit it. You know, the big refrain in Bethlehem is, where's the mayor? He's AWOL. He's simply not doing his job. So when he talks about accountability, you know, look in the mirror. He really should. Uh, I mean, again, look, an election is a choice among candidates. He's made a lot of claims that have really gone unchallenged. He says he's created 5,000 jobs. He didn't create 5,000 jobs. I mean, it's laughable that he would say these things. So, but we have to talk about accountability, and I'm, I'm happy to stand on my record. He is the candidate of the Washington agenda. Hey, Joe Biden is coming here because he wants John Callahan to endorse and rubber stamp his agenda. He's not coming here so that he wants you to go to Congress to vote against him. You supported him on stimulus. You're the candidate of the Washington agenda that has been so widely repudiated by so many people, whether it was on the failed stimulus, the health care law. Now you're saying you're against cap and trade when you before you before. So, I mean, let's be honest about this, John. You're the candidate of the Washington agenda. I've been fighting against him. Mr. Town. Sure. In, in the United States, what we have is a uh, two-headed one-party system, and both the Republicans and the Democrats have really failed the American people. Uh, what I believe, and I think the reason why you see so much uh, negative campaigning is because they don't really have any new and original ideas. They're just recycling the same old failed policies over the last couple decades and throwing them out as, as something new. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, Mr. Callahan's jobs plan is just recycling the same points that Mr. Dent made in his 2008 election campaign. And I think that uh, it's time for new ideas. One of the ideas that I have to deliver accountability and transparency is call our open office. And the way our open office will work is any time any resident in the area uh, would like to comment on any house floor bill, they can do so either by phone, by mail, or online. I'll read through it. It'll be open and transparent to the public. And then what I'll do afterwards, I'll tell you not just why I voted on, uh, not just how I voted on every single bill, but also why I voted. So that way you always have a record, and if you ever disagree, you'll be able to go back and say, you know, Jake, I disagree with you on this. And this is something you are, you have not seen from uh, Mr. Dent in his 20-year uh, political career, and uh, you're not going to see it from Mr. Callahan as well. Thank you.